All right, hey guys, so this video is to walk you through the process of creating a contact sheet in Photoshop. These directions pick up after you have culled your images down in Google Drive and downloaded uh, your selected images. So here I have them in my finder window, my student folder, my project folder named as the project, and then my images within it. And then the next step is to make sure you have Photoshop open. We don't need any, um, like a new window or anything like that. We just need the application itself. And we're going to go to file, automate, contact sheet two, and select that. And we're going to pop up window here. We're, we're printing our contact sheet from a folder. If you were selecting individual files out of a folder, you would select files, but we're going to stick to folder. We're going to ch choose to tell Photoshop where to pull these images from to make the contact sheet. So I'm going to go to documents, my student folder, and then the project folder. And then a couple of things down here in the document size, we're going to actually set the size to eight and the height by 10 and flatten all layers, RGB color, eight bit, 300 resolution. This color profile is fine. Thumbnails, we're going to make it so there's room for 24. So we're going to do four columns and six rows because four times six is 24. Make sure rotate for best fit is checked. That ensures that any images that are vertical will rotate. 90 degrees to make them horizontal so that they're um, as big as the other ones. We want to make sure the cap the file name is being used as a caption so we know which image is which on our contact sheet. And then also auto spacing because this will let Photoshop decide, make everything nice and even for us. So once we have everything like that, you might want to pause this window so you can take a look at it closer. Once we have everything set, we're going to hit OK. And now Photoshop is going to go through this automated process of making a contact sheet. So if you watch this layers panel, you'll see a bunch of stuff happening over here. And the window itself, of course, is going to have a bunch of things popping up. And so we just kind of sit back and wait for this to happen. Now, once this is done, um, we could print it out directly from Photoshop or um, usually what I would want you guys to do is to print, um, to save your contact sheet as a JPEG and submit it on Canvas. So I'm going to show you how to do that once this finishes up. Okay, so I've got all my images on my contact sheet. Now here's the part where I could either print it or I could save it as a JPEG, which I'm going to show you guys how to do both. So if I were asking you to print this, we would go to print and you would select um, actually the Canon MF632 or the HP Color LaserJet, either one, and click print. I'm going to hit cancel here. Um, and instead, what I'm going to show you how to do is save it. So we're going to go to file, save, and we're going to make sure we're saving this to our computer. We can go ahead and click don't show again here and save on your computer. And we want to put this into the same folder as the, the project folder. So for me, I'm going to go to my student folder and into this project folder. I'm going to name this the same way I would name an image. So I'm going to do my first initial last name, my block, the project. So this is monochrome. And instead of a number here, I'm going to do CS for contact sheet. And I also want to make sure that I select the file type as JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and click JPEG there and save and make sure this is to maximum. Click OK. Now, when I go to my finder window, I can find that contact sheet here. And this is what I would submit to Canvas for grading. All right, that's it. I hope that's clear directions. Let me know if you have any questions.